everyone Kamal here and I welcome you all to the second hands-on video of build 10572 the Windows 10 mobiles latest build for insider preview in this video we will cover all other unlisted changes which we had already posted in one of the uh, one of our articles on Nokia power user uh, we have earlier uh, made a video which covers the unlisted changes of Microsoft Edge on uh, build 10572 so in this uh, video we will cover all other changes so starting uh, from lock screen here you can see new animation so now if you unlock your device you'll try to move the image it would not move only what moves is like uh, are the date and the notifications and your screen opens or uh, the device gets unlocked so we will do once more and we'll see how the animation has changed so the image would not move only the date and the notification so uh, that was the first change. The second change is in people life tile. So now the people life tile has the look that we have seen on Lumia 950 and Lumia 950 XL. Uh, the build that they were running had this kind of people life tile. So it's here. And we have also seen this life tile in emulator build 10536. Now coming to the third change. So it's in reachability with one tap. Now you can revert back. So this is one change which we can see going to uh, more changes if you go to settings okay if you go to settings and uh, if we go to network and wireless the data uses you can see uh, there are changes so it, there is an option which says you can use a mobile data if there is no internet access over Wi-Fi so this setting was earlier available uh, but now it reappears on Windows 10 mobile so it was available in Windows Phone 8.1 so if your uh, Wi-Fi internet access is limited the device can use mobile data if you allow so if you can allow it will tell you that it will automatically use mobile data so it depends on you whether you allow or not allow so one of the changes now going back to another change so personalization here in start <clears throat> you talk about tile transparency the how it works has just reversed earlier if you could have moved to left the transparency may have increased but now it works intuitively now it i mean because the name is trial transparency slider so obviously when you move it to the right it should have increased and now it does the same so while uh, this is just the reverse case of uh, as compared to earlier builds it has it is better i think <clears throat> if you go to lock screen you will see another change so the double tap the navigation bar to turn on the screen has moved under the lock screen settings now one more change that you can see is in accounts if you go to your email and accounts and we have posted screenshots in our article which will update with this video you can see that all the email and accounts and even the uh, different accounts like the facebook beta account has all been clubbed under this your email and account settings here you can go and access so it's a central place to access all your account settings and this is obviously a very good change one more change that we can see is in messaging now sync messages between devices so this setting now you allows whether you want to sync your messages between devices or not so this is one also a very important change and it's unlisted so we are covering it here okay now coming to one more important change so uh, if we go to update and security for developers so the device portal has now come to this uh, build and as you can see it has become i mean device portal is very easy way to actually sideload the apps using your pc and connecting it to your mobile so you can use your uh, wi-fi your ip address and it allows you to connect your device to your pc and easily do many things you can actually um, kill the processes reboot your device or you can even sideload the apps so these were many 
unlisted features which were not listed in the official change log and in our earlier video as we said we have already covered unlisted changes in Microsoft Edge. So these two video covers nearly everything, every unlisted change that will do 10572 breaks. If you come to know about any other build, any other change that we could not cover in this uh, tutorial, okay, yeah, yeah, let me, let me, before finishing it, I just remember that there is one more change that I would like to show. So now, you can see that if you try, if you dial any number, you can actually move the cursor quite good. So that's a neat feature. So with this, we come to end of this video. Uh, if all you find anything new, you can just let us know and we will try to cover them uh, in our next video. So stay tuned and uh, go to Nokia Power User for our uh, article on Microsoft Edge's unlisted changes and this article where we are going to update the article of unlisted changes with this video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.